I literally feel like it's Christmas morning. Like I could barely even sleep last night because this is my last morning in a hotel and I am finally, finally moving in to my apartment. It's moving day. I am just really excited. I can't wait to get there. I can't wait to do like an apartment tour, empty apartment tour. I can't wait to have my stuff back. It has been four, four months since I've seen my stuff. Oh my God, I've had the same three suitcases of stuff for four months since November. I can't wait for the day. I don't even need an espresso. I thought I needed an espresso. I don't need one. Clearly, I'm high on life. <laughs> Let's fucking go. Moving day. start already on moving day. They literally won't give you the keys until you give them the first month's rent in the form of a cashier's check, which is so archaic. Um, so it just took me an hour to go to the post office and then the bank to get a cashier's check. And the movers are already there. They've been there for 30 minutes, so I'm late. I have officially made it in New York City. You know when you like first get to a hotel on a vacation and you don't know what to do with yourself? That is how I feel right now. The movers just left. They just dropped everything off, put everything together. I have no idea what I'm doing with this layout. I thought I had a good plan in my head until they were like, where do you want this? Where do you want this? And I didn't have the answers. So I'm probably gonna have to re-put it together later myself because of that. And I also feel like a little sad, which I was not expecting. Um, I feel a little sad because all of this stuff has memories attached to it and the last time I saw all of this stuff and packed it all up was in my Jersey City apartment and I was in a very sad place then and all of this stuff is just bringing the memories back and I don't like it. I thought I was gonna be like, yay, fresh start, new place, but I kind of just feel like I have the same feelings and emotions in a new environment. Same shit, <laughs> different home. But I think once once I like figure out how to design it and get decor and really like make it homey, I think I'm gonna be really happy here. You gotta love emotions. They come up when you least expect and least want them. Because I was supposed to be happy, relieved, elated, excited today. Those were the only emotions I was prepared for. Sad was not one of them. Sad was not one of them. My best friend and I just went for a drink in the neighborhood at this cute little cocktail bar that I've decided I want to be a regular at. And now it's 11 o'clock and I'm unbubble wrapping, unpacking. And at the same time, I am washing my first load of laundry. I'm washing my sheets and my comforter. So I have something to sleep on tonight, but overall it was a very successful day. I'm really happy with how much I've gotten done and I have a long, long way to go. Um, but I'm gonna do one more box and then I'm gonna reward myself with the last episodes of Love is Blind. Tonight is the weddings, okay? The most important episode if you're a Love is Blind person like me. Um, so that's my little treat for getting through the day. But make sure to subscribe to my channel so that you can be here for this entire adventure. I'm gonna be decorating, I'm gonna be rearranging, I'm gonna be getting new stuff, I'm gonna be unboxing, and you're gonna wanna be here for it. But that's it. Love you, bye. When you see and realize what you missed out on, you are going to choke.